inside me i know that it's not well we are going to die in the next minute we are going to die in the next hour because this is hi guys hope you're doing well it's been a while and i know that i'm really sorry and thank you for your patience with me you've been here you've been on my wall i've seen you trying to get me trying to see if i'm still there i'll be there so just held up a little bit but i'm back with you with this content today so thank you so much for your support thank you for your genuine love and everything so if you're new here this is guda and i'm a nurse so in here i post about nursing and everything i do outside nursing outside everything i do outside the hospital outside the wards basically when i'm praying and when i'm outside the hospital the things i do the things i enjoy as a nurse and that is just what i i really wish to be sharing with you i want to share with you my life as a nurse and my life outside nursing my life things i enjoy doing as a nurse outside the walls and that just makes me or keeps me going every time as a nurse so if you're new here consider subscribing if you like me definitely consider subscribing turn on the notification bell and share share my videos be there let me see you in my videos and i will really appreciate you and for my subscribers thank you so much for your support continue being with me continue loving me the way you do and continue sharing my videos so that i get there one day when it's my time so today i have this video with you here you know it's funny it's funny as a nurse you see like the things that happens in the hospital that we nurses only know we, we nurses only understand and no one else can really understand if you don't tell them so today i'm going to share with you things that we nurses wish we could tell our patients sometimes somebody will say nurses do we lie like do we lie uh sometimes as colleagues we ask ourselves do we lie like do you like to that question so i'm just going to share with you these things like things nurses wish would tell their patients things i would wish as a nurse i'd tell that patient when they came under my care so it's kind of funny and at the end let me know what you think about the video what you think about those things that we like our patients in court and those things that you also like to our patients somehow as a nurse so a nurse would wish to tell the patient that your doctor is mismanaging you but you see the ethics don't allow i can't just go ahead and tell that patient that this doctor ain't good for you or this doctor ain't doing the right thing but you see somehow it's funny because we kind of like kind of like we just like like your doctor is good your doctor is doing fine and this is your best doctor sometimes i ask you know who is the best doctor for you and who is the wrong doctor for you so and you've already come there and you have this doctor and managing you so we'll just go on with the motion and we have like this nothing wrong until you get better because at some point you always keen to make sure that that miss is not there on you but you always pray that all goes well with you at some point i'd really wish to tell my patient that i'm exhausted i'm tired my 14 hour shift is just super crazy and i really would not want to take off them but i don't tell tell them that i keep on smiling i keep on giving myself strength i keep on just making it look like it's a fresh shift while it's a 14 hour shift or it's a 10 10 out of 14 hour shift so most of the nurses who wish they tell their patient that look they're just super exhausted and you don't want to take off you so Who would wish to tell a patient that you're just exhausted and would 
wish somebody else would be taking care of that. But that somebody else is not there. That somebody else is me. That somebody else is that nurse with the tension that patient has. Something else you wish to tell a patient. You know, sometimes it's really crazy or it's really tempting or it's really funny and sad at the same point. I really wish to tell my patient that, you see what, you are going to die. But then I look at it as my ethic doesn't allow that. Uh, my ethics allows me to afford that patient until they go peacefully, until they live peacefully. But see, I have a patient here. The relatives have declined that you care. And I'm here with this patient on my own off day. Definitely I've got the nasal prompt to high cock. High cock is the, the highest thing I can do in the world. It's the maximum I can do to help that patient continue saturation or continue having enough oxygen. But see, this patient is desaturated. Like they're not getting enough oxygen in the mask. So I really wish I told that patient, see, the oxygen levels are going down. This definitely means that you're going, you're going six feet under. But I don't do that. I keep on lying to this patient that it's going to be well, it's going to be well, it's going to be well. While well, deep inside me, I know that it's not well. We are going to die in the next minute. We are going to die in the next hour because you see. So it's funny, right? Don't misquote me. Don't misquote me. I'm just sharing you with this because these are things we nurses wish we tell our patients, and we can't tell you. But I have this platform that maybe I can share. Uh, maybe you can know. Uh, maybe you can. Some point when a, when a nurse is dealing with you, you can relate because you saw you saw it somewhere else. I just read. So I wish to tell my patient that um, I wish to tell my patient my age. But see that these first patients they ask you your age simply because they think you are younger, take off them, or you are too young. treating me according to those factors like my experience, uh, I'm young, I'm your granddaughter, I'm your grand, I'm your daughter, you see, I'm your, your and I should wish to tell the patient, the patient her exact age, but they don't do that. Some of us would go on adding years on ourselves just to make that patient comfortable or feel feel like they're not being nursed by a, a, a young nurse uh, because the expectations are still high. You provide a gut care. Look, I have my license to practice my nursing services, meaning I can provide the best to you and that's why a hospital has employed me to give you the services. So you shouldn't be judging me according to my age. So I go on lying. 50, I'm 90, I'm 40, just because I want to make you happy at the end of the day. To a nurse would wish to tell the patient that I've actually not taken lunch or I've actually not taken dinner or I've actually like not eaten and I would wish to take the food. You see, some patients will give us their food, some patients will give us their food because they see us exhausted or they think we've not eaten. But we end up telling them that we are we are full, we are satisfied, we've eaten. But at the end of the day, you go out of that room thinking like your tummy is too empty, your tummy is too empty. But you still don't have that time to eat, and you really wish to eat that food. So uh, if you like me and you're new here, consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell. Share. What else do you need to do as a new person? Subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you're always there in my gang list. Like when it's premiering, you're always there seeing what I post. And for those, for those who are there, my subscribers, thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for your support. You guys have been amazing. You guys have given me the Genuine support I really wish that could be given from you. So I really appreciate you all. If you like, if you liked this video, in the 
leave a comment section below let me know what you think about the video and how if you are a victim or maybe if it just happened to you or if you also one of us who feels that maybe sometimes in like our patients let me know let me hear from you i hope you enjoyed the video and let me see you